So I'm with my son Ben. Ben, Ben is usually in camp. So in our other videos, you might have only seen three other children. Over the summer, yeah. People don't believe that I have a fourth child because you're never in our videos, but yay! So we're gonna show you such fun ways to serve the most basic salads to elevate any party, dinner, meal, solo, group, family. Right. Yay, thanks Ben. When you were little, I was kind of trying hard at one point to try to get <clears throat> you to eat your vegetables. Then I decided I wasn't gonna try to make you eat something. So we had this kind of custom and actually we still sort of do it today is before all the hot food comes out, I serve salad. So every night dinner went like this. I'd bring out my salad and I would eat my salad and I'd say, Ben, would you like a bite of salad? And you would say, nope, nope. And we did this every night for like a year or two. And I'm not exaggerating. I literally would have my salad in front of the kids every night for a year or two. Until one day, I said, Ben, would you like some salad? And you said, okay. Okay. And I'm like, what? He's like, sure, I'll try some. I'm like, you will? I was like, oh, that thing that I was doing without realizing I was doing it, which is modeling the behavior that I wanted my kids to adopt, even though I didn't know that I was doing that, which is the best way. And I was like, oh my gosh, model behavior. Don't tell them what to do. Just show them how you do it and make it yummy. Like it has to be good. So yay. And now you eat salad. Yay. And now I eat salad. Let's start with the coolest tip, actually. So you want to find a plate that kind of matches around the size of your mold, and because we're going to mold our salad in here. So I'm just going to julienne the lettuce. If you're, when you're molding it, you want your components to be small, right? Because otherwise they won't stay together. So the avocado at the base is going to keep the foundation. It's like the bottom of your house foundation. It has to be steady. <laughs> so we're going to layer the peppers on the side, highlight the red, and then I'm going to add the lettuce. Then I have, I want something wet now because I did something dry. So we've got these canned red peppers, but you could use some cooked beets would be really amazing. By the way, while Ben's doing this, let me show you something else fun. These avocados are not quite big enough because that would be like a mini salad. But like if you wanted to make a little like steak appetizer or whatever, do a little dressing layer and maybe I'm gonna reach over for a second maybe some sprouts and some crushed red pepper for color or something yeah. and then just put a little on top Let's so you could actually it. use a little well a much bigger than this avocado and have a cute little salad that was a bonus you guys got just a little extra bonus let's put this here <laughs> what do you could you guess what we're gonna put on top though avocado, uh, avocado. Yeah. We're just gonna put one more. Yes. We're gonna put one more layer of avocado, and I'm gonna smash it first. And I'm. Gonna, I don't want to dirty a bowl, so I'm gonna smash it right in the avocado. I don't know if you can tell, but every time I add a layer, I'm squishing downwards. And then we're gonna lift. Ready? Oh. One. Oh, here's a kit. Here's important. Use your spoon at the top and keep pressing downwards. This goes for any time you're molding anything. So you're kind of like releasing it very. You're just pressing it down. Gently. So it... I'm just releasing it ever so gently Ooh. so it stays in place. Uh... So I love when you're presenting things to get like a really pretty mound of stuff on top. Yeah, just put a little bit of your dressing on the side. And you could even squizzle your dressing That's on right. top. You want to taste? Uh, yeah. Now it could be messy. <laughs> the avocado is so important and so good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Nice little appetizer idea. All right, you take this and have another bite, and we're going to move on. Okay, ready for the next idea? Yep. A Ziploc bag. It's not that complicated. You can open it up, 
and I want you to kind of choose your favorite veggies and throw them all in the Ziploc bag. And what I love about this is you don't have to dirty a bowl and you can actually take this, like if you were gonna go to school or whatever, yeah. we could even put the dressing in a separate Ziploc bag, throw the Ziploc bag in here, and then when it's time for lunch, uh, open the bag and shake it. But now I'm just gonna drizzle and then seal it, keep a little air in it, and then shake. And hot more, like go crazy, Ben. Shake it! There you go. The other cool thing about the Ziploc bag is if you don't have your dressing mixed, you could actually just drizzle your oil and your lemon, salt and pepper, whatever else you want to add in, and shake it without having to make a separate dressing. So I love that. And it becomes dressing. And that's it. And you just, and I feel like it's dressed really nicely and it gets everywhere. I'm not a cucumber. Mm. All right. Here's our next salad idea. We actually did this for Liam's birthday party, remember? Yeah. It, there's nothing complicated. It's just vegetables on a stick and we're calling it a salad. And it's also a really cute picnic idea. Let's cut these. I got these baby turnips in the market in a different shape just for fun. I'm just gonna slice out some corners of them just to make it a little more interesting on the stick. I think that's also what makes kids eat vegetables is if they look interesting. Like kids like anything on a stick, so I felt like for the party, if the kids were hungry enough, they would eat it. So you can kind of have fun with it. String it up. And just I like the unevenness of the whole thing. It's kind of... Symmetry looks the, the You're looking asymmetry good. looks nice. And I'm gonna put a little dip in a cup. And you could, if you were doing it for a lot of people, you would just have a bowl of a dip and then lots of different sticks and then just serve it like this. Oh, yours looks so much nicer than mine. Yours looks good, Ben. Beginners. Probably, this, is, this is probably the, the part that shouldn't be there. There you oh, go. Much better. See color, okay. symmetry, yum. Okay, final idea. We're gonna do this super fast, Ben. Okay. I know you guys have probably seen this on Pinterest or trending everywhere, but it's just such a fun way to serve salad. So you're gonna do the dressing, Ben. Choose which dressing you want, and you're gonna fill it up about a third of the way. Okay. So I'll experiment and try one I haven't tried yet. And then we're gonna layer it with some carrots, cucumbers, throw on some cashews and almonds. I'm gonna add some of our steak because I know you said that you like steak. It's hard to not like steak. And then we're gonna fold it and put it on top. What do you think? Great. You could totally do this. I Would you do this? Absolutely could, yeah. Okay, now pour it all in. Yeah. So now we have a little bit more space in our jar because we took it out and now you can shake really hard. There we go. Great. I think it's ready. You just eat it like that? Just like that. Wow. See, now it's all dressed. Ooh, big bit of steak. Oh, you're dressing a lot. Wow. Thank you. I love you. I love that you eat salad, and I love that you help me show everyone how to eat salad at home. Mm 